Please stand and open your missalettes to page 109 for our entrance antiphon. Go ahead, Jeremy. O God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Today's Mass is for the health and well-being of Mark Azure. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for our readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Pamphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga, and Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch and Pisidia. On the Sabbath they entered the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the Law and the Prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, Fellow children of Israel and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arms he led them out, and for about forty years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought, Israel as a sa brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. God heralded his John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance 
to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name his horn shall be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Ever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Two of the deepest questions we can ever ask is who is God and who are we? And this whole week we've been examining who God is as the Good Shepherd, as someone that guides us, that loves us, that's willing to die for us, someone we can trust in. Today's readings focus a lot on who we are as sheep, as his sheep. And over this past week, we've hit on a few of these identities. I mentioned to you um, earlier in the week that if we were dancing with God, we would be the partner. We would be the the girl. (laughs) We would be the follower, asking God to throw us up into the up into the air, and we trust that He'll catch us. We are the bride. He is the groom. And of course, this week we focus on that He is the shepherd and we are the sheep. And I'm mostly preaching to women. There are a few guys here. It's hard for guys. Guys almost have a dual identity. Because when God sends us his sheep out, he speaks through us. And suddenly, we feel like we're the shepherd. We feel like we're the person leading and guiding. 
when it's God doing it through us. But our primary is always the receptive one. What should I do now, Lord? What should I say now, Lord? And we see that here in our gospel. No slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. At the core of everything is our shepherd sending us, guiding us. In our first reading today, we have St. Paul on his journey. And it's interesting. He is showing them, how, showing the Jewish people of this town how much he knows. He takes almost all of the Old Testament and summarizes it in like five or six sentences. If you ever want to study the Old Testament, you might want to start with this verse. But he doesn't end there. He brings everything that the Jewish people did in just a few short sentences all the way to Jesus as the fulfillment. And so it is so important as Jesus' sheep to know our faith, to know where we came from, to understand even the Old Testament, how the Jews were given the faith and how it was brought, led up to Our Lady, led up to Jesus, as the center of all and led to the faith coming out to us. Because then in turn, it's, Jesus gives us this to hand on. And again, we feel like shepherds. We feel like grooms going out looking for brides. But that's not what people see. When they see us bringing the faith, they only see Christ. They only see the one who is sending us. In a sense, we're the telephone. And he's the one at the end, other end of the line. No one sees the phone. They see the person they're talking to. And so today, we're encouraged as sheep to become missionaries, to be sent out as apostles, to be Jesus' hands, his body in the world, but never to forget that we're sheep first. In my order, we're called something. Contemplative actives. We're called to be in prayer first. Listeners first. Before we put it into action. And it's a very beautiful thing. Something I have to work on a lot of the time. I tend to be a doer. But it's something that we all need. To pray and listen to God first. And then carry out his actions which is even what Jesus does in the Gospels, going off on his own to pray before he does some of the most important decisions like picking the apostles. And so, my brothers and sisters, sheep. I am a sheep too, walking around looking like a shepherd. But it's only because I pray every second that it's not my voice coming through me, but the real shepherd's voice. And it's the same for every one of us as well. God love you. Please stand. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the good shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them, let us pray to the Lord. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray at this time for an end to the coronavirus.
for all of our leaders through this crisis, for all those in isolation, especially our elderly and those in the nursing homes, and for those caught in addiction and despair at this time, let us pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for the health, for the health and well-being of Mark Azur, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for what else shall we pray? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And of course, for the intentions of all those who are watching from home, especially those intentions that they share on the texting, let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, you know that our life in this present age is subject to, to suffering and need. Hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Be God Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. If 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Peace, everyone out there.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. And just a reminder, please stay in your pews. I will come to you. I've seen people now do it both ways. The bishop requested that we pull our masks down whenever I give you communion. But I've seen people hold our Lord in one hand and pull the mask down with the other. And so far, it looks safe. So um, either way, I'm fine with. And finally, um, for those of you watching, I... I well, for those of you watching that are not in Dunseeth, I will still be doing the active spiritual communion with you after I give communion. For those of you in Dunseeth who have been following along, I will be giving communion after Mass in the parking lot. And an added reminder, now that we're receiving in the hand, look for particles. I have to wash. I have multiple things up here to make sure that every little particle is accounted for. Even the smallest is Jesus Christ. Thank you. And for those of you at home, let us say together. 
For those that cannot receive communion physically, let us ask God to bring Jesus to you spiritually. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Sorry about that. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. So one of the... In- Sisters alluded to this when we gave thanks and asked uh, prayers of the faithful. But last evening, uh, yesterday, um, the tribal head, Jamie Azure, revealed that of the 591 tests, all were negative. One was thrown out, but all negative, no positives to any virus found on the reservation or in Belcourt. So 591 tests, all negative. So it's a... Uh, a cause for celebration. It doesn't mean we let up our guard, (laughs) but at the same time, we're thankful to God today for those wonderful results, which for the last three or four days, everyone, there's even been people in quarantine waiting for those results till they're let out of their houses. They were set free last night. So thanks be to God. And so just our, a few ending question, uh, ending announcements. Everyone, please put your kneelers down. That helps us know where to clean around after this Mass. So put your kneelers down just for us to identify what pews were used. And um, we will be opening the doors so you don't have to touch the doorknobs. And uh, for those of you in the Dunseeth area at home, I will be outside for at least 10 minutes. I've just been getting so bored out there. (laughs) So please get in your cars now and start coming if you would like communion, if you've watched this Mass, and if you're near Dunsey. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against.